I just needed to show you that my aminos match my leggings perfectly. <laughs> I'm obsessed with matching. Um, this sweater matches my sports bra perfectly. I love matching things. I'm going to the gym with Nicole. Um, we're gonna do an upper body workout. Yeah. Okay, hello. We are here at the gym, about to start. Um, what we're starting with, where's Nicole? She's over there. I don't know what she's doing, because we're starting over here. We're doing um, standing military press. We're gonna try to pyramid it, but my shoulders are still sore from my last shoulder day, so the pyramid's gonna be a pretty weak pyramid. A pyramid is when you start with high reps, lower weight, and then you decrease the amount of reps you do and increase the weight. So you start with like 15 reps, 12 reps, eight reps, four reps, or something like that. Then you pyramid back down to do like four reps, eight reps, 12 reps, 15 reps. But we're probably just gonna do like one side of the pyramid and then drop set the last one. Yep. Pull the key out the ignition. Run your mouth, but I never listen. You hold me back, we'll never last. Keep talking all your shit. So as I mentioned, we are starting with overhead press. So with overhead press, you want to make sure your core is super tight. You don't want to hurt your back. So keep your legs locked and your core super tight. After doing the first four sets, we decided to do a drop set on the last set. So as you can see, I'm taking off the weight. So I did a set with the 2.5s and the 5s, and I dropped the 2.5s and just did the 5s. And then again, I will drop the 5s off the end and do a set with just the bar. And that is how you do a drop set. So you don't want to rest at all between these movements. And this was really hard. I could barely do any reps. Never been sicker. That was so hard. Okay, so for the drop set, I like failed on everything and didn't get all the reps. So that's when you know you're pushing hard. I'm not so we then moved on to a shoulder superset that got our heart rates up. So what I'm doing here is dumbbell snatches and then Nicole is doing single arm kettlebell presses. You can pick a pretty decently heavy weight for the snatches because you are using momentum to lift the weight up, but you also don't want to hurt your back or your shoulders, so be careful when you're doing those. You want to keep your core tight for both of these because they're one arm movements, so you're only going to have a weight on one side. You say you got it all, then you start to fall down, you say no fair. By this point, our shoulders were already burning, so we decided to move into some back movements. So here, we're just doing banded pull-ups, and then we superset these with barbell rows. You don't have to use the band, but if you can't do a normal pull-up, the band will help you, or you can use the assisted pull-up machine. For these barbell rows, you want to make sure that your back is flat, so you don't want to be curving your back at all. And me and Nicole did opposite grips, so she did an underhand grip and I did an overhand grip. You can do whichever one you want, just depends how you feel it. We were running a bit short on time today, so we moved straight into a burnout. So this is a pretty quick workout that you can do. So right now we just did 30 reps of these straight arm pull downs. After we did the one set of these straight arm pull downs, we did one set of seated cable rows and we did 30 reps of these as well. Really try focusing on pulling the weight with your back muscles instead of using your arms to pull the weight. Imagine pulling the weight with your elbows and that should help you to not use your biceps as much. We then did one last set of these face pulls and we again did 30 reps. So at the end we really burned out our muscles and they were burning by the time we got to 30 reps. We had to pause a few times while doing this because it is quite hard. You want to keep your form really nice so don't let your form slip and just try to get those 30 reps in. Just the way you make me feel, I'm in so much pain. Whoa, it's really dark in here. Hey guys. Um, I'll just like ease the light from this street lamp, but I'm actually just at F45 I felt like doing some cardio and me and Nicole finished our workout like pretty early in the morning So I was like fuck it. I'm going to F45. I haven't been here in like two weeks Honestly, because I've just been not feeling it Because I've been I don't know weird headspace. Anyway, I'm here. I'm really hungry So this is gonna be a really tough workout and Friday is always hard. It's Docklands I'm gonna bring the camera in see if I can get some clips But no promises Let's get it, guys. Work out in then F45. I would not recommend doing this because F45 is hard as fuck, but here we are. I'm an idiot. Woo! <laughs>
listen to I have been 11 Frank Sinatra as you know if you watch my last video this speaker you guys I've got you under my skin okay let's turn it down for a sec. I've got you hey guys I hope you enjoyed all of that workout footage today. Um, I'm glad I got some F45 stuff, so thank you Bronwyn for recording that. And the speaker's still too loud because this thing is freaking legit. To adjust the volume, you like spin this thing. It's so freaking cool. I'm obsessed with the speaker. So I am partnering with Vandy Planet on this video. They sent me this Cove speaker and I I'm obsessed. So it has like a subwoofer. If you know what that is, it means it has like deep bass. So this thing can have like some bump in bass and it can go so loud. I would do it really loud, but my brother's still sleeping. So I don't want to like wake him up, but it can go so loud. It has eight hours of battery life. So easy to charge, just plug it in. Um, the Bluetooth, amazing. It can reach up to like 30 feet, I'm pretty sure. Although I don't know why I would be like 30 feet away from it but and it's so sleek like look at it it's freaking beautiful so it also has like outdoor indoor settings on it so you can like change the setting bro i know a lot of people like bringing like their phone or like speakers in the shower with them i don't do that because you're in there to shower not to like stand there listening to music and waste water but a lot of people do like doing that so this is like water resistant so you can't like actually stick it in the water but you can like put it in the shower and the like mist and the steam that comes from the shower isn't going to affect it so that's a great feature so i do have a discount code for this speaker if you want to get it it is gabby 65 so you can get 65 percent off oh my tongue's blue for my aminas but yeah you can get 65 percent off guys that's freaking unreal. So Gabby at 65 will get you that discount. Put all the information in my bio so you can check it out. But if you have been looking for a speaker, this is your time to get one because unreal. Okay, I'm my shoulders are actually burning. I've worked out way too much this morning. Um, I'm just going to make my food now. Usually I like shower first because I'm like sweaty, but I can't. I'm so hungry. I'm going to make my usual breakfast of oats and... Probably just eggs because I don't think I have enough stuff to make an omelet. Yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. Good weekend. It's Thanksgiving this weekend, even though I'm going to be posting this video after Thanksgiving. So I hope you had a good Thanksgiving with your families. Okay, bye guys. I'm not somebody. Only problem with this speaker is I literally get so freaking distracted doing things because I literally just start dancing. Okay, bye. <laughs>